I hope you are having a wonderful week. I just went to Trader Joe's, so my week is getting better. And I spent $206 at Trader Joe's, and of course, I bought all of the brand new items. So we're gonna go through this three bag haul, sample and review the new items. And I cannot wait to show you one of these items in here. I'm so excited. Um, and also, if you're new to my channel, please be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It helps me out so much. My name is Natasha, and let's jump into this week's three bag. How did I spend $206 at Trader Joe's? Let me show you what I got. Okay. I even did a fridge check before I left to make sure I wasn't doubling up on anything. So we're gonna scoot this away. I actually had so much fun at Trader Joe's today because I'm gonna show you, I wore my new vest. My friend made this for me. And I was like, I'm gonna take it out in the wild. I'm gonna take it for a spin. And um, I walked around Trader Joe's with it on. I feel like that's what like someone going to a Taylor Swift concert feels like when they wear like a Taylor Swift sweatshirt. That was me at Trader Joe's. Um, and it's cute, like the like most masculine man was the most excited out of anyone. There was like a ton of women that made comments, but there was a dude that was like, he worked there, he was like super fit, and he was like the most excited. Uh, I thought that was adorable. And I picked up some flowers. I got ranunculuses because they are my absolute favorite flower, and they had so many at Trader Joe's today. So I picked them all up. I went for like an orangish yellow and a pink, and then this one looks like more like a bright yellow, so I'm just gonna put them all in a face. They're so pretty. I love them, they're like really easy to take care of because they don't have a lot of green on them, um, like leaves that you have to cut off, and the way they hang is just so pretty. They're like droopy flowers, so they just, they're so, so pretty. They're my favorite, one of my favorite. I have a lot of favorite flowers. Um, we'll go through this back just right here. Um, rice cauliflower, tonight I'm gonna make, you wanna make tacos? Yeah, I'm definitely making tacos, and that just reminded me. I forgot cabbage, but I have romaine. We're fine. Um, I'm gonna make a rice cauliflower, super simple, a little olive oil with the rice cauliflower, cook it in a saucepan, um, and then you just add a little bit of salt, and then at the end, add in some cilantro, squeeze a lime, it's good to go. It's one of my faves to make. I picked up two dressings. These are in the refrigerated section. They're right by like the salads, um, like the, Sorry, the greens for salad. So I picked up the green goddess dressing. This one's really good. I know a lot of people love this one because there's no canola oil in it. It's just literally olive oil. Water, avocado, apple cider vinegar, green onions, lemon, juice, chives, parsley, olive oil blend, yellow onion, basil, garlic, and sea salt. It's really, really good. I've been making a lot of salads with it lately. And then I wanted to mix it up. I also picked the vegan creamy dill dressing. This one does have canola oil, but it is still really, 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 really good. Um, it's kind of like a, kind of like ranch, a little bit like ranch dressing. Um, really good, but they're both perishable. So when you open them, you have to use them within a decent amount of time. Um, I picked up cilantro for the cilantro lime rice and also for the tacos. Asumo citrus, love these. Love, love, love. They're great for snacks and you can also just take them on the go. Um, but this past weekend, I had a booth for my spatula line, which is the Pat the Spatula. You've seen it. It's my spatula with a smiley face. And I had a booth in Santa Monica for the art walk, which was so much fun. And I took sumo oranges with me as a snack. Because when you're, you're in the booth, like you're pretty much in there all day, like seven hours. But it's so much fun. You just get to people watch, which there's always great people watching in Santa Monica. And then you get to see people like interact with something you created and so many people smiled and that's the goal just to bring joy with those spatulas so it worked um i picked up two limes for the cilantro lime rice tonight and then i'm so excited okay i had this thought while i was looking at the cherry tomatoes at trader joe's the one thing i love about tomato season which is coming up because it's really just like summer's tomato season but i can tell it's in the soil because there's a certain color of t like tomato cherry that I love. And this is the Heirloom Medley Cherry Tomatoes Organic. When I see a tomato this color, I get really excited. Sorry, I hold it against my cream colored vest. Um, it's almost like, like a burntish, like a brownish, brownish reddish tomato. I don't know, they're like my absolute favorite and this one looks like it was packed full. Mm. And it delivers. Those are, like when I see that color, I'm like, it's gonna be a good batch of tomatoes. Don't refrigerate your tomatoes, keep them on the counter. Do not refrigerate your tomatoes. I picked up a new hand cream. 
MLL Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cream. The hand cream itself is not new. It's amazing. Um, I had one in the car and it was like way past its, like it was so squeezed. The thing with these, these type of tubes, they're great, but then when you get to it towards the end, it's a bit hard sometimes to take it out. But this cream is so soft. It smells amazing. And it's not thick, it like absorbs into your hands. Ugh, I absolutely love it. I don't know why I'm putting it back in the box. Cause it's going in the car. And then, and then I haven't bought these in a while, but I, I think I'm having an idea for a meal later this week. So these are the jicama wraps. I love these. Um, you have to eat them quickly when you use them. They're great as like a, if you're doing like a low carb, tortilla substitute. You can also use these as a snack. My friend, what she does is she buys the jicama wraps, she puts a slice of turkey in it, and then she rolls it up, and then she dips it in olive oil. And it is actually really good. It's a simple, simple, simple little snack, but delicious. You can also like, I started making them, and I put like a piece of string cheese in it too, because I love cheese. Um, so these are a good one, but you do have to eat them within a couple days of opening it. And they like expire quickly. Like their best buy day is actually the best buy day. So just when you get them, Eat them quickly, but they're good. They're so good. They add like a nice crunch. They're light. It's made from a vegetable. Um, I picked up some um, more chips. I was low on chips, so I picked up the kettle cooked olive oil potato chips. These are really, really, really good. And it's just potatoes, sea salt, and olive oil. I love them. They're like, they're like a guilt-free snacking chip. And then these, I picked up more of these, the pizza party potato chips. I'm gonna open this bag. Went through my other bag. See, this one only opens from the side. I hate when that happens. It's just not as satisfying as a top open. I don't know, like, I think these are really good, but there should be a word for things that are just okay, but they're really addicting. Because sometimes things taste like absolutely delicious, and then you're like, oh, that's why it's addicting. I find these to be just okay, but when there's a bag open, I can't stop eating them. So there has to be a name for them. Superior Crunch. It really does taste like like pizza. Like where the when the actual slice of pizza, you get closer to the crust, and there's always like a little bit of tomato sauce on it. That's what these remind me of. Mm. A ton of ingredients, but it's a blend of cheese, garlic, pizza sauce, pepperoni, salt, seasoned kettle cooked potato chips. But they're really good. They do contain milk. Um, and they use a blend of sunflower and canola oil, so <clears throat> choose your adventure if this is if this is it. Mm. They are really good. This is brand new. I'm really cute. Cherry lemon animal crackers. They're super cute, and they come in these single serving bags. Literally, it's single serving, and it says it's single serving. So it's milk, soy, and wheat. I just want to try a little tiny piece of them, and I also want to confirm they're as cute as they look on the bag. How do I open this? There we go. Come. Oh my gosh, really cute, but I really can't make out what sort of animal this is. Um, I'm not sure what kind of, but let me see if there's a better one. Let's see. This one, um, I also don't know what that is. Maybe that's a donkey? Maybe it's a donkey. But they're cute, the yellow with the sprinkles. I love that. I'm gonna take a little bite. These do contain milk, soy, and wheat. Again, I have a gluten allergy, but I will sample certain things and I take digestive enzymes before I do this. So don't worry about me. These are absolutely delicious. If you like animal cracker style cookies, wow. And it's got a little bit of lemon zest to it. So it's like a lemony um, yogurt coating. It also says there's cherry, but I honestly, I don't taste the cherry at all. And I don't, maybe that's because I just had the pizza party chip in my mouth, but this, you definitely taste the, like the tanginess of the lemon with the yogurt. Really, really good. These are delicious. I love little like single serving sizes like that. <clears throat> Brand new. This is what I'm so excited to try. So Trader Joe's, a while back, they had Great Lakes Collagen. Now they have hydrolyzed collagen. Um, two scoops is 10 grams of protein. Um, hydrolyzed collagen has an amino acid profile. 
and it's got 12 grams per serving, supports skin, bones, and joints mixed with cold or hot liquids. So we're gonna sample this because if you've been in the collagen game for a while, like me, I take collagen every single morning. I mix my AG1 with collagen and then my Arm Rub Bovine Collagen. I mix it all together in one. AG1, collagen, collagen, all in one. And now I'm doing a scoop of, of um, protein powder. So I'm trying to get more protein in my diet. But collagen isn't, I, I believe it's not a complete protein. It is a protein, but there's like complete forms of protein, like whey, and collagen is not one, but it is still collagen. So, okay, good. I smelled it. The what I was getting at was sometimes collagen smells like just like death. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. I mean, it's essentially ground up like ligaments and tendons of uh, cows, and they also have marine collagen as well, but. Some collagen brands, and maybe this was just like years ago, like there was like a smell that I couldn't stand. This has no smell. We're gonna see if it blends in nicely. Okay, let's see. I mean, this is just the color you get with collagen. I also have one of those from my mud water. I have one of those like little frothers. Let's see if I should do that. Hold on. It blends okay. Like it, it did blend, but I want it more blended. Let's use this little, let's see, is it charged? Oh, we're good. I might have too much water in here. Okay. I think the battery's low on this. <laughs> okay. That's better. Now we are going to try it. it has a little bit more of a smell once it's blended. Actually not bad, no real flavor. Impressive. That is pretty good, it blends easily. I think it's, I think this was $12.99. Was that the price? The right price will be overlaid on this when it goes up on YouTube, but yeah, no. It is not $12.99. I know it was a double digit, let's see. Mm. I cannot find the price of this. Five ninety nine? No. Four ninety nine. Let's see. It's like I'm under, like on the oh collagen pepper. I'm seven ninety nine. I'm sorry. So this is seven ninety nine, and there's seventeen servings of two scoops each. So it'll last you about half a month. What I like about this size is if you're traveling, this is amazing because I currently have like a tub of collagen. And whenever I travel, I have to like scoop it out into like a bag. I like that this is already in a bag and it comes with a scooper. So this is great for when you travel. I don't know if I'm the only person, but when I travel, I take like a whole kit of like supplements, I'm like a freak. I just like love feeling good. <laughs> and so if I'm like, oh, that works, that works, that works. My skin likes this, I'm like hooked on it. Um, I picked up more of these are so These are a really, really great snack. I absolutely love them. I keep them in the fridge. You don't have to, but they're great when you're just like wanting something and it's like in between a meal or like even it could be like a pre-snack to your snack because each bag only contains 15 calories. So it kind of just like resets my taste buds. So I'm like, mm, is that what I want? I am on a kick right now. I'm just trying to eat more whole foods. So like for dinner last night, we made like steak, a salad, and some sweet potatoes, like really healthy. And so I love sweet potatoes. What I like to do is I, before I even put them away, I skin them and I chop them up so I have them like prepped. And then I'll just like toss a handful with some olive oil or avocado oil and a little bit of salt and I air fry it. And it's, it's a great side dish any meal. And sweet potatoes are so good for you, I love it. Um, these are go macro bars, I just eat them like I have them in my pantry. Like usually if I'm on the run and I'm like kind of hungry, I'll take like a half of one. Um, organic pink lady apples. I bought these last week and I absolutely love them. I go through apple phases and these ones are good because they're organic so they're smaller. I love the smaller size of an apple. Like I don't have time to eat an apple that's this big. It's just too much. But these are the perfect sizes. They're actually a little bit bigger than the ones I got last week. Um, but they were so good. 
so good. So I just clean them off and then I set them in my little fruit basket and I make it a snack. Um, I picked up some wild skipjack tuna, more protein. I'm trying to eat more protein in my diet. As you get older, you need to have more protein. Um, your body demands it. So that's why I've incorporated a scoop of protein into my morning routine. And then after I work out, I'm doing a scoop of protein. And then like for lunch, I'm gonna do things like tuna, fish, things like that. And each one of these has 22 grams of protein. So I love this little skipjack tuna. I find it's like just the right portion amount of tuna. I can sometimes has way too much tuna for me. Um, I was reading that we're, a lot of people are deficient in vitamin D, so I just picked this up um, to have it and take daily. And I think these are soft gels. Let's see. From Trader Joe's. I honestly, I can't comment on the quality of Trader Joe's vitamins because I don't know who their vendor is. However, Trader Joe's usually does pretty good at picking vendors. So, yeah, these are the little, I like that they're little soft gel. That means they're more bioavailable. How many do I take a day? One soft gel daily, preferably with a meal. Huh. I missed my mouth. Oops. Oh no, I've got collagen water on my new vest. Hope it doesn't smell. Mmm. And then last week they were out of this. I freaking love this sparkling water. This is Italian mineral water. It's Trader Joe's branded. It has the smallest, most perfect bubbles in it. Like Pellegrino bubbles are too big. This one is so good. The bubbles are smaller. It fizzes right. It's so delicious. Um, it has a lower mineral content and carbonation and it comes in a glass bottle. I tagged that Mark, that his name's Martin. He's a water sommelier. He wears like the round glasses. And I tagged him in a post. I'm like, Martin, how good is this water? So we're waiting to see if he respond. But even if he doesn't approve, I'm still drinking it because it's delicious. It's bottled at the source in Apecia, Italy, Italy. And this is white labeled and I think I know the white labeled brand because it has the same style of bottle. Last bag, new, but like the third week I bought this stuff. It is so freaking yummy. You guys, I do have like a mild corn allergy. It doesn't make my stomach upset. It just makes my skin a little itchy. And this, mm, I can't stop eating it. I had some people over, I just put, put it in a little bowl and I watched. I was like, it's not just me. This is a pecan popcorn. Oh, it's so good. So good. It's just like the perfect crunch, the perfect saltiness. It's got nutritional yeast, which kind of has like a Parmesan cheddar flavor. Onion and sea salt and garlic. And the whole bag only has like 600 calories. So five servings, two and a half cups, 140 calories per two and a half cups. Mm, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. The lettuces of the week, organic red butter lettuce. I love this stuff. I mix it with spinach to make my salads. And then I usually chop up some of the little sweet peppers. I'll do avocado, lentils, cucumber, and then I toss it in one of the dressings I was talking about. And it's so yummy. The raspberries were looking massive today. Let me show you. These were the organic raspberries. They're so big. Look at this. Oh my goodness. That is a raspberry, folks. That is not a strawberry. Don't tell anyone. I didn't rinse it off before I ate it. Um, I, the guaca sauce is back. That was gone for a minute, and I love it, so I picked it up. Good on tacos. Um, what's really good is if you buy the carnitas, that's it's in the refrigerated section, you, do, you just microwave it and then you add guaca salsa to it, put it in like a standing mixer, it shreds it, shreds the carnitas and it is so delicious. And then you buy the Pau de Queixo Brazilian cheese rolls and you stuff the carnitas guaca salsa mixture inside of them. That is like a treat that everyone will love, I promise. This is the vegan kelp um, and basil cashew pesto. I'm buying this because I love kelp noodles and Trader Joe's doesn't sell kelp noodles but you can get kelp noodles at Whole Foods, on Amazon, many grocers have them. Um, usually specialty grocers, uh, if you have like a co-op near you. Kelp noodles come in this like bag, and then you have to soak them in water. And then you're like, what is this sea vegetable thing? But just trust me on it. So let them sit for like 10 minutes, strain them, and then toss them in a ton of pesto. 
It is so addicting, so delicious. I actually got the recipe because I bought it at Air One before, and then it was really expensive at Air One because it's Air One. I was like, I can easily make this at home. So I, I'm just like back on that kick. So I picked up some pesto to do that. This cheese is awesome. It is the Chiave de Oro Golden Key. Raw milk, hard cheese. It's aged for six months. I love it. And I love the size, the portion size, because you can literally just like, what I do is I chop, chop, like bite really fine slices. And it's, it's a good appetizer. You can also have that with a little bit of um, those apples. Cut some apples up with it. Popcorn, or dare I say, this wine. It's so good. It is a Trader Joe's Petite Reserve Carmenere. Um, fourth or fifth bottle I've bought now. I think it's seven or eight ninety nine a bottle. Delicious. When I was in Chile, I sampled Carmenere, and I was like, wow, that's good. It's not a really complex wine. It's like... Like it's, what I mean by that is it starts and finishes the same. It's not gonna open up too much, but it's like a really nice, easy to drink. I wanna call it a table wine because it pretty much will go good with everything. I mean, other than like, if you want fish, I'd say go with white wine, but it's just really, really good. And I found it like doesn't give me a bad headache or anything. So high quality, wherever they're getting these grapes, it's delicious. Um, organic cucumbers for the salads. I just mentioned a little bit ago. I like the Persian cucumbers. My dogs also love cucumbers. If freaking love it. If they can hear me cut a cucumber or squash, if they, they know what the sound is of the knife cutting through it and hitting the, the cutting board. They absolutely love it. So I picked up some orga organic squash. Um, and then, oh, I'm gonna try that. I got some chicken breast. That looks really good. I mean, I know it is, but I eat this as a snack or sometimes I'll like get a quinoa tortilla, a little bit of Jarlsberg cheese, and then a little bit of meat. And it's just, it's a good snack. I like it. Um, tonight I'm going to make Atlantic Salmon Farm Filets. Uh, these are great. This is, like, it's, there's four filets in here and they're $1.15 each. Sorry, four filets in here and it comes out to like $11.49. So it's like a little like two fifty three bucks for a salmon filet. Yes, it's farm raised, but these are Norwegian farm raised salmon and it's like the highest quality farm raised salmon in the nation. Um, I know there's a lot of bad press on farm-raised salmon, but all, not all farm-raised salmon is the same, I promise. If you dig into it and you dig into it when you see those like scary Instagram reels where it's like, oh, the sea lies. I'm like, there are certain areas that if you farm fish, they like do things so it doesn't happen and they have such high regulations. And one of those places is Norway. Um, so definitely try it if that's your thing. I love the price of these, $9.99 per pound, four fillets per bag. They're really good. And I like, I'll make like blackened salmon tacos with it and it's so delicious. Another thing I love is the beef bulgogi. This stuff's so delicious. I like to make tacos with it. Um, I like to make tacos, it sounds like out of everything, but that's just the things that I like in life. And um, you can also make like a rice dish, a little rice bowl with the bulgogi, it's so good. I recommend doing it on the stove top. The stove top, I just find it makes it a lot more tender than if you microwave it. Okay. And then, oh, another new item, the Chili's Rellenos Con Queso. I'm gonna make a reel out of these, so keep an eye out for that. Um, if you're on YouTube watching this, check out my Instagram, Trader Joe's list. You'll find that I have done a reel for this sometime this week. Um, these look really good. So it's cheese stuffed poblano peppers with Mexican style tomato sauce. They do contain milk, egg, and wheat, so it'll be something I'm sampling just to give you guys a review. Um, and I, they just look so good. I love chili ranos, like so good. Sometimes they just have corn on them. There's no flour, but whoever made these put the flour in it. Um, I picked up almond butter cause last week I forgot it. Cause I want to cut some apples up with a little bit of almond butter. Yummy. Such a good one. I get the crunchy almond butter salted. This one's really good. I also like the raw almond butter, but it doesn't have salt and I like salt in my butters. And then I also picked up some Parmesan Reggiano. This is one of my favorite Parmesans from Trader Joe's. This is quite expensive for this. It's $10.07, which is crazy to think that this Parmesan costs as much as four fillets of salmon, but that's just how it is, right? Good Parmesan cheese. It's $17.99 a pound, but it is worth its weight. It is so good. So good. And then I'm excited to try this. I go through salmon phases, like, um, smoked salmon and this, I think they like redid the branding. So I really want to try this. So let's cut it. Oh, I don't even have to cut it. Ooh, that's nice. 
appreciate how easily that tore. Okay, we're going to sample this. What always happens with my salmon phases is I go through them and then I'll get like a weird smoked salmon batch and then I'm like off of it for a while. So let's see. Maybe I can pull this out. It's like vacuum sealed in here. Okay, so this is it. It looks nice. This is wild Nova style smoked sockeye. I believe it's from Alaska. I was reading about it in the store. Anywho, let's see. I'm really, it had such a nice presentation. Now I'm just like picking at it. Okay, lots of omegas in salmon. Oh, yeah, that's good. That is so freaking good. That is 100% going to kick off my smoked salmon. I'm craving again. Wow. That was delicious. Okay, so if you want to look for it, it's the Wild Nova Style Smoked Sockeye Salmon. That is incredible. You can toss in your favorite salad. Some people put it in omelets. You can even do it in your favorite pasta dish, which I've never done. I've seen people put it on pizza. I, I typically will just like, I'll put it in a jicama wrap. I'll put it on those little Norwegian um, crackers. Those are really good. A lot of ways to eat it. But that is it. That is this week's haul. The oh, I was going to throw that, but I have three more bottles of water in there. Um, $206. $206. I'm excited to try the Chili, they, they, Chili's, Rellenos, Chili's Rellenos con Queso. White girls trying to speak Spanish. That is me. Um, and then those little animal crackers are brand new. And those are really, really good. This is brand new-ish for a couple weeks. I still love it. So yeah, you guys gotta let me know what you're getting this week and I'll see you next week because every week I go to Trader Joe's and I get the new items and I sample them for you and for me. But I'll see you next week and Instagram, stick around. I will hang out and chat with you for a minute. Bye guys.